Hi Taurus, welcome to your bonus love reading. Let's see what messages will show up for you today. Taurus, this is a collective love message for your sign. Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So please take what resonates and how it resonates for your overall situation. Oh wow, very nice. Could you please show us mutual energy? One more, please. Okay, so we have divine timing. We have divine intervention. We have lovers, self-worth. Maybe we'll do it that way. Let me organize this for you, Doris. So we have space for everything. Okay. At the bottom of the deck, we have intuition. You are very intuitive at the moment, Taurus. Mm -hmm. So listen to your intuition, your inner voice here. I feel there is a guidance trying to guide you. You are very protected, Taurus. You are very protected and you might feel differently, especially with this energy. But at the end of the day, uh, your guardian angels, your, your spiritual guides, your team here, it's working. It's, it's working, they are protecting you and they're trying to resolve something to your benefit. Okay, so we connecting here in this reading for you, Taurus. This person has a proposal and a line, a line card. It feels like you have someone here who, who wants to kind of come um, with some sort of clarity, with a line. It's, it's this kind of something here makes sense for them, you know. And with the proposal, it might be a case that this person will ask you out or they will, for some of you, it might be a case that they will propose to you even with this card. It might be a case because it just makes sense. Um, it won't resonate, of course, with all of you, but I can, I can see that for someone. And with the challenges on your side, which is very interesting, it might be a case uh, here, Taurus, that you have so much on your plate. And uh, I feel that uh, recently you might have experienced some sort of adversity or obstacles that might have occurred on your way. But um, with this, with the overall energy, and if, for instance, things has been particularly difficult when it comes to this connection, or Taurus, if you feel some sort of kind of like an uncertainty or clarity from this person's side, and that creates challenges, I'm getting that this person is coming here with clarity, and they will. Uh, it's like this person will make themselves known what they truly want from this connection. It might be a case that this person here will ask you out, you go for a date with them. We have mutual energy, divine intervention, love is self-worth, divine time, timing. Time here is of an essence, okay? I feel that you share very strong soul connection with this individual indeed. And um, it's like, I feel that something is taking a long time. Therefore, you might be also seeing this person as they're creating some sort of obstacles or creating unnecessary kind of a drama or something of this kind. Please take it how it resonates. There is a big emphasis of self-worth here. And I'm seeing you kind of standing your ground, Taurus. You know your worth and you know what you truly deserve. And I feel that you don't want to kind of, you don't want to accept uh, less than you truly deserve and, and and that's the bottom line here but with divine intervention and divine timing it feels like something it's taking forever it's taking a long time in order to have some sort of break some sort of breakthrough when it comes to this connection but with the lovers there is a strong soul connection i'm getting that it's like a this bonding thing between the two of you but let's see taurus let's see this person's energy towards you and this connection we have a seven of cups 
Mm -hmm. Page of Pentacles. You might be dealing with uh, Capricorn. Six of Wands. You are dealing here, Taurus, with someone who really wants your attention. But equally, uh, this, is, this, this person really loves attention. They like to be in control. They like to be seen as a victorious one. You know, always kind of uh, at the top of their game. Five of Swords. Hmm. Okay. We have a Queen of Swords. We have a King of Swords. We have the Ten of Pentacles and the Hanged Man. Okay. Uh, you might be dealing with Pisces. So far, yes, strong Pisces, high precious. There is something here that they need to explain because you might see them as person who is holding some sort of secret with this high precious. And it feels like that it might be a case that for some time they didn't want it to talk about a certain matter with this hanged man. There is a need for them to change this approach. And this is someone who understands it. But you are dealing with in, an individual who's very possessive and jealous here, Taurus. This person doesn't want to let you go. Hmm. I'm getting quite a, quite a character, I must admit, with this with this with this devil energy, with the six of wands, five of swords, and this queen of wands. I feel Taurus that this person made you feel at some point that you are an option not a priority and actually you might kind of see them as an attention seeking person with this devil and with this devil card and the six of wands it's like that they always seem to be seen as 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 someone who is in control who is winning like i have a big energy of being a winner i am best at this i know best People should follow what I am saying. This is someone who is very, very kind of, um, I feel very insecure as well because it's like they need to prove something here. And the, th and the thing is that I don't feel that they need to do that, but it's their mindset. And with the Five of Swords, it might be a case that this is someone who plays mind games, you know? in order to get what they truly in order to get what they want exactly they're using manipulation and i can tell you here taurus that this is someone who wants you they want you but with this queen of wands you might feel that at some point this person uh, might have prioritized different people different dynamics different connections different things over you because Queen of Wands is this energy when it comes to love readings. She can represent a third party. She doesn't need to, but third party doesn't have to be another person. It can also represent, for instance, career, finances, family um, members or relatives, habits, friends, you know. And I feel this is a creature of habit we are dealing here with someone. And with this devil energy, this, there is something unhealthy about how they see a certain, um, how they see things, certain things, not all of them, but I feel that this is someone who uh, has this kind of energy of entitlement. Maybe you are dealing here with someone who is very well accomplished, you know, they have some sort of stability or they are in a position of authority when it comes to their work-related situation. Or they are very, very handsome and charming or very beautiful and charming. And they know, they know that they are, that they people see them that way and they are losing, sorry, they are using it uh, to, um, they are using it to their advantage. That's why we have energy of mind games, five of swords. This is someone who ultimately wants to have stability with you. But with this king of swords, uh, this is, and you know if you listen if you if if you if you saw my previous readings this king of swords always represents someone as i mean in my readings uh, as as an individual who has very su sus um, subjective view of what is right and what is wrong therefore they can be incredibly passionate charming 
um, very skillful with their words, right? King of Swords, he holds a sword of, of, of truth but also that represents a communication. Someone who's very skillful with their words, but they can be at the same time very harsh with their words. So you didn't hear, I feel, with quite a character, but this person wants to be with you because it makes sense to them. It's like they see you as a perfect partner. They want to have stability and that's it. That's it. But with the high precious, this person needs to come with some sort of clarity because it feels like, and you might get this impression that they are hiding something. High precious is this kind of card of mystery. Also something here, it's hidden. She might represent a secret. In the right time, they'll be revealed, but you might feel at this very time that this person is not fully transparent and with the high precious energy it might be a case that you are suspecting that they have their options open and they are uh, might be entertaining also someone else or somebody else but what i am seeing in these cards is this person wanting your attention they want to be successful when it, when it comes to this connection but they love being in control um, they are very stubborn they can be quite complex and they are using manipulation here they are they are thinking about you non-stop with this energy without a doubt the ultimate goal is ten of pentacles so they do want to have stability they want to have stability when it comes to this connection being in a stable relationship Let's see your energy, Taurus. We have a Six of Cups. Six of Pentacles, a Three of Cups. Okay. Seven of Swords, Page of Cups. We have a very interesting look, all wands energy. We have a King of Wands, Page of Wands, and Knight of Wands. King of Cups at the bottom of the deck. I feel Aquarius that you do have uh, feelings for this person. With the Six of Cups, it might be a case that this is someone that you've known for some time. I feel we starting your uh, your your reading here. I mean your your energy from six of cups and we ending with the knight of wands it gives me um an impression here aquarius that the aquarius oh my gosh you might be dealing with aquarius taurus it gives me an impression here that this person might have been uh for some time very much in and out hot and cold when it comes to this connection because knight of wands represent uh, someone who is quite inconsistent can be a little bit next to the page of wands very immature the way they handling things very childish this is someone who might speak before they think you know a bit of a player energy that might come across like this and with the three of cups and the seven of swords Taurus you might feel that this that this person uh, it's it's they are not telling you here full truth it's like mm, they are telling you something and they might be acting completely different uh, behind your back. Mm -hmm. You might be seeing synchronicities. 1966 might be quite important as a year. 1976, 1986, 1996. They're giving me 6th of June, 3rd of June as a, as a date. might be quite significant 7 of June as well but yeah I'm seeing here you uh, I feel that you share very strong connection with this individual of the six of cups this is a soulmate energy with the six of pentacles I feel that you've tried uh, being fair when it comes to them but there is also this kind of understanding that about this person habit I feel that you are dealing here with someone who really likes 
attention, as I mentioned about this, but also uh, their close related environment, meaning friends. And they do like um, partying, maybe they do like, you know, going out with them. And, um, and I feel that you are not particularly uh, comfortable with this. Uh, I'm getting that as soon as they're doing it, they're coming with some sort of form of affection with this page of cups. This is someone who wants to be seen as a king of wands in your eyes, as someone who has a plan, who is very, very, um, let's say, creative, who is ambitious. I feel that you see this person very attractive, but their energy is page of wands and knight of wands. I feel that your impression of this person is that they are very inconsistent, they are very in and out. Yes, you share this love or this, you share this very strong soul connection with them. And you've tried very hard here to be fair, to be a team player, to, to provide this kind of equal give-take dynamics when it comes to this connection. And I feel that overall this person makes you happy, but there is something about their habits that might create challenging challenges when it comes to this connection. And I feel that you don't fully agree with that. There is something inconsistent about them, but they are showing up that at the end of the day, they do want relationship with you. So this is quite interesting energy, mutual energy. We have the lovers. So yes, there is this connection, but I feel that there is something that you are not fully uh, happy about when this per with regards to this person um, behavior I feel that you have your guard up here Taurus you don't fully trust this individual hmm. yeah let's see the outcome Taurus let's see the outcome We have a king of pentacles. We have the sun. And we have nine of wands. Page of swords. So some sort of kind of conversation here. It's coming in. Um, I'm getting. Yeah, communication that will bring something um some sort of clarity with this page of wands it's not much again you know it's a potential it also represents curiosity i feel that both of you are quite curious about each other at the end of the day you know this is someone who is very curious because they don't want to lose you they are obsessing here over you uh you might be dealing with leo Taurus, we have a king of pentacles, the sun, which is a beautiful energy because that represents uh, stability and happiness. Sun is this ultimate card of joy and fulfillment. This is one of the best cards and to have it in the center of your reading as an outcome that that represents that certain things here can be healed and you might actually um, experience more stability with this king of pentacles when it comes to this connection but with the nine of wands on your side you don't fully trust this person mm -mm. you have your guard up i feel that you're setting very healthy boundaries because with this energy this is someone who might like to push their luck indeed i see you having feelings for them taurus uh, without a doubt there is a very strong connection this is a very strong connection overall I feel that you would like to um, you would like to um, um, experience fulfillment and happiness within this connection but 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 this person needs to come with clarity or they need to um, start acting in a different way because I feel that you see them overall as someone who is very immature or the way they handle things. This is someone I feel who doesn't like to be criticized. They don't take criticism as a constructive form, you know, of criticism. They see is as a, as a kind of, a, I don't know, metaphorically saying attack on their character. Okay. 
but that's not the case. That's not the case. Overall, I'm seeing a communication and I'm seeing that actually something here will change because this person here is coming with stability, proposals. There is some sort of offer here on the table when it comes to this connection. This person here, Taurus, will come with some sort of form of an offer and they will kind of bring some sort of clarity or their explanation will make sense. But it doesn't change that you fully kind of, you know, suddenly you open your arms and you will fully, you know, um, trust this individual. No. But I see the improvement when it comes to this connection with this King of Pentacles and the Sun and something here will make you feel happy. So there will be a progress. You can expect progress when it comes to this connection and they coming with some sort of form of an offer of proposal or they will they will try to kind of um i'm seeing also a gift because ultimately this is someone who doesn't want to let you go they are stuck on you and the ultimate goal here is to have stability but they need to tell you about it and it might be a case that they come in with proposal and they will tell you that they do want this stability with you that they do want to be in a in a long-term and and stable relationship and that will make you feel happy but i still feel that you have your guard up because there is something about this person that they need to change and they will need to prove that they that they are serious about what with what they're coming here to you with this offer but expect some sort of improvement when it comes to this connection, Taurus. Taurus, I will leave it here. Thank you so, so very much for being with me. Please like, share and subscribe. And once again, thank you very much for your time. I truly, truly appreciate you, Taurus. Taurus, have a fantastic and wonderful day. And once again, thank you so, so very much for being with me. Take care. Bye.